Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, I want to talk about making Emacs look good. All right. When you start it up, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it is a little bit antiquated. Now I've changed the theme here to a darker theme, but this is basically what you get when you start up Emacs. If we maximize it, we see, you know, this is our start screen. Actually, let me just show you exactly the customized themes here. I'll show you exactly what it looks like when we start up. So if we do that, we'll save the theme settings and we start it back up again. Um, well, we get it looking like this. So that's all right, but we can get it looking a lot nicer. First thing I like to do is maximize the screen. So I'm going to do Alt X and then customize option. And I'm going to customize the default frame a list. And I'm just tabbing to complete that. Okay, and I want to insert something here, and I'm going to insert parameter full screen and give it a value of maximized. Okay, I'm going to click apply and save, and then let's just close it and we'll restart it. Okay, so it starts full screen, so that's a little bit nicer. You don't have to hit it. Uh, so it looks good. Now, this default font looks okay, but Let's get a better font. So let's go and search for the Hermit font here. And I'm going to download this. And I'll just scroll on down. This is a free font. So I scroll past it here. All right, download right now. So I'm just going to click on that. And you'll see it downloads this. So we'll show it in the folder. Now I'm going to right click on this, copy it. Go to my Linux files, show my hidden files. Now I'm doing this on a Chromebook, by the way. So you're going to want to figure out where to put your font. In this case, put it in the .local folder under share, and then uh, a new folder we're going to create called fonts. Okay. I'm going to then just paste that in there, but we have to uh, unpack this. So let's open up a terminal here and let's CD into .local slash share slash fonts. That's the path on a Chromebook where you need to put the fonts, by the way. And we'll see here that we have this, if we list it out. So I'm just going to do tar space hyphen ZVXF and then the name of the file and I'm just, or the name of the tar.gz folder. Um, and then I hit enter and it unpacks it. So now if we list it out, it's all unpacked. We can remove the tar.gz file again, because this is the only, thing that starts with an O. If I just type O and hit tab, it completes it. Okay, so now if I list this out, I know I just have these fonts, the variations, and the license. Okay, I'm going to close that, go back to Emacs here, and let's go up to options, and let's set the default font. Okay, so now we're going to have this menu come up, and actually what we probably need to do is close this out. I'm getting ahead of myself. Close it out, then restart it, and all right, so now we'll go back up to options here. Go to set the default font. I'm going to search for Hermit, and you'll see Hermit regular comes up. Let's make it size 12. We'll select that, and now you see that it's in the Hermit font. Okay, now I have to go back up to make this permanent. I have to go back up to my options and click save options. Okay, all right. Next thing I want to do to make Emacs look nicer is I want to get rid of the toolbar and the scroll bar. So to do that, I'm going to do Alt X and then customize options here. Uh, customize option. Okay. And we're going to do, uh, let's see, tool bar mode. And we'll see it's toggled on. We're going to toggle this to off and click apply and save. That's going to take away the toolbar. Uh, you can toggle that back on with just uh, typing toolbar mode if you really want it. I never use it. Okay, uh, let's do Alt X again. We're going to do this time scroll bar mode. Okay, uh, and we can disable it like that, but that's not going to be permanent. So what we want to do is customize the option. So I'm going to go here to customize option, scroll bar mode, and you'll see the value is right. Now we could do left, but we want to do none. Okay, I'm going to click apply and save and it goes away and that'll be gone. Now, if you want to get rid of 
these here, you can do customize option and then menu bar mode. And we'll see it's toggled on. We're going to toggle it off and click apply and save. And now that's gone. So we have a blank slate. Okay. So next thing we probably want to do is get a theme. Okay. So we want to look for uh, our package. First, we want to customize something, uh, customize options, uh, option. I keep doing that. Customize option. And then we're going to look for package and enable it startup. So we have to do that first. Now we want to do uh, customize option. Then we're going to type a package. And then we have a bunch of options here. If we hit tab, these options come up. Okay, so we can do the package archives. Um, and yeah, we may want to do that, just make it easy. So let's do package archives. And we'll see that we have uh, Elpa uh, is one of them. And if we insert here, we insert, we're going to do Melpa. And we can just get, uh, go do HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash melpa.org forward slash packages, just like that. Click apply and save. Okay, now we can get some themes. All right, so we'll do Alt X customize themes. Uh, nope, sorry. Alt X package list packages. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, and then we'll do Alt X uh, and you'll see it's loading. So we're going to wait till it loads. And then we're going to do package install. So it's going to take a moment here. And we're going to install the material theme. Okay. All right. So that's compiled. Now we're going to do Alt X again, customize themes. And let's go down here. We'll uh, say, yes, I want to load this theme. Click on it. And we'll save this to our theme settings. So now in future sessions, it opens up with the material theme, okay? Last thing I think I want to do is, um, let's look for the cursor. So let's do customize options, option. I keep doing that, wow. Uh, customize option, let's do cursor and hit the tab, cursor type. Okay, and uh, let's see, cursor type, we're going to do a vertical bar. Okay. And click apply and save. Okay. So now let's close this out. That's just, if you like to change your cursor type, which I like to mine to be thin. Uh, so now we can do control XD and we'll see that I have a thin cursor here. I could start a directory. Let's call it HTML. Let's go in here. Let's create a file test.html. And then we can start writing and Emacs looks all nice with our custom theme, our custom font, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, we can throw in our tags, we can start building our pages or writing our programs and have Emacs look really nice. I hope you liked this video. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.